Today, a modern float glass line produces an average of several hundred tons of glass each day. It runs 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, for over 15 years. There are about 450 float glass lines around the world. Together, they produce more than a million tons of float glass worldwide every year. Until the 1960s, flat glass was produced using the sheet and plate glass manufacturing process. This method was highly labor intensive. Invented by Sir Alistair Pilkington, the float glass manufacturing process quickly became the universal method for producing high quality flat glass. Today, float glass manufacturing supplies glass to a variety of different markets, including automotive, architectural, solar panel, and many other technical applications. Glass making uses some of the Earth's most abundant raw materials. The primary ingredient is sand, accounting for 60% of what is called the batch. Lime and dolomite are added to assist the weathering properties of the finished glass, while soda and sulfate lower the temperature at which sand will melt. But glass itself is also an important ingredient. Broken glass, called cullet, is recovered from the manufacturing process and then crushed before being added to the batch. This further accelerates the melting process and reduces the amount of energy required for melting by up to a fifth. All raw materials are rigorously checked to ensure the purity of the batch. It is then fed automatically into the filling end of a furnace. Natural gas burned in preheated combustion air then heats the batch up to 2800 degrees Fahrenheit. Once heated, the batch materials melt and change from a semi-molten state to molten glass. Melting, refining, and homogenizing take place within separate zones of the furnace. Processes within the furnaces are managed from the control room to ensure that the glass is homogenous and free of bubbles. Inside the furnace, heat is applied from alternate sides in 15-minute cycles. This assists fuel efficiency by ensuring that combustion takes place in the presence of preheated air. This continuous melting process can last as long as 50 hours. The glass leaves the conditioning end of the melting zone at a temperature of 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit through a narrow canal where it passes to the heart of the process, the tin bath. Molten glass enters the tin bath and floats on top of the more dense molten tin, like oil floating on water. Here, the glass spreads out, following the perfect flatness of the tin, so that the upper and lower surfaces of the glass remain absolutely flat and parallel with perfect spectral properties. The glass is made thicker by confining its initial outward spread over the tin. To make thinner glass, the top rollers controlling the width of the glass are sped up to produce a gentle stretching action. A controlled atmosphere of hydrogen and nitrogen within the bath prevents the tin from oxidizing. When it emerges from the tin bath, the glass is sufficiently hard so as not to be marked by the conveyor rollers. The float glass manufacturing process can produce clear, tinted, and coated glass products. Online pyrolytic hard coatings are produced by depositing microscopically thin layers of metallic oxides using the chemical vapor deposition process. This process produces extremely durable products that can be easily handled, cut, tempered, bent, and fabricated. Pyrolytic coated glass include low E coatings for solar and thermal control, self-cleaning, anti-reflective, and many other special applications. The glass now enters the annealing layer where any stresses are removed by a controlled cooling process. In a length of over 800 feet, equivalent to three football fields, the glass is taken from 1100 degrees Fahrenheit down to room temperature. At this stage, the glass is perfect. Now the glass is scored, so it can be snapped to predetermined sizes. Indentations left by the top rollers are removed on conveyors and sent to be reintroduced as cullet at the beginning of the melting process. After passing through the automatic handling stages, customers' orders, which might involve a range of thicknesses and sizes, as well as special coatings, are packaged for delivery. 
As a leading global glass manufacturer, the NSG Group provides one of the broadest ranges of glass products available in the global market. Pilkington architectural products help control energy, protect against fire, insulate against noise, provide safety and security, afford decoration and privacy, incorporate self-cleaning properties, and are used in a myriad of other applications. Glazings also bring safety and style to cars with increasing sophistication and new systems built into the glass. Float glass is also extending its usefulness beyond traditional automotive and architectural applications to new and emerging technologies in electronics. From touch screens and refrigeration doors to digital and HD television displays, Continuous innovation ensures the development of glass products that provide solutions to the market. The NSG Group is committed to being at the forefront of these developments. Glass is an integral and important element of most solar technologies. Solar panels can be used to harness the sun's energy and supply buildings with electricity and heat. NSG Group offers a wide range of high-tech glass products that can be used in all leading solar technologies. Glass is an important part of the world we live in. It is an integral part of many functions in our daily lives. Next time you close your glass shower door, use your smartphone, look out your window, or open the sunroof of your car, think of all the possibilities float glass offers.